Nice. <laughs> so, welcome everyone. I'm Shu, and I will be running Chroma Squad for the next two hours or so. Um, I start by taking the casual difficulty, which is the easiest, and the one we're doing for this one. And count down, three, two, one, go! So, Chroma Squad is a tactical RPG in which you play as uh, Sentai actors, adjust uh, uh, give, uh, not get fired, but resigned on their position in the in another C job, and they are going to uh, make their own C job. So now I will need the name for every character. I'm setting them up. All right, then I'm going to close up the bits, and I'm going to refresh to make sure the names are correct. All right, the bits are closed. Which one? Which name do you need first? Uh, I'll go for left to right, so assist. Assist, the name is Nines. Okay. Or <laughs> Tech is. Tech is. Tech is. It's Namba, right? Namba, yes. Lead should be. That's two. the leader, right? Yeah, it's two. It's two. And it's Av, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you already know them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Scout is done. Al, yes. So, uh, uh, just a quick follow-up. So, for the assist, we take with his trap, which has more pistol damage. Uh, Gusfin is more attack and team attack damage. We'll see that later. For Ashes Smith, for the lead, we take Ashes Smith, because our main weapon is going to be the sword. And for the assault, it's more attack and more critical damage. Critical chance. I mean, and even size more, uh, you get to throw people way, f long, way further and has more attack. And sh since he has a, is as good, he doesn't get to uh, lose movement. So, so, yeah. So, first, I'm gonna do a bit of shopping, get everybody gloves, so get, so they get more attack and each. For each people a weapon. The lead and as and the kids always start with a weapon. And I'm set for the first mission. So basically it's a kind of a tutorial. I mean I skipped the tutorial but for you it's it's this one. So how this tactical RPG works is every character has two uh, two action possible. It's either two movement or a movement and an attack. Or just an attack, an attack takes up both actions. Or they can just teamwork. And what teamwork do is just uh, do nothing for the character. But uh, with, when a character is in teamwork, it can just be be used to throw other people further when they uh, way further than they should. And you can also use uh, if one of your allies has teamwork and is nearby an enemy and you attack this enemy with another character uh, both attack at the same time for increased damage so basically almost each part of the uh, of the mission are either killing every enemies or killing the boss and for this part it's killing the boss I changed the name of the button later, I forgot that. Like, just after this mission. So. Uh, one of the main mechanics of this game is a chromatize. Uh, as you can see, the f as you have seen, the bar on the top screen is the urgence meter. And what it does is, when you accomplish director's instruction, and... Uh, and do stuff on the map, you get urgence, and once your urgence is at a certain point, uh, you can chromatize. Uh, so, what's the name of the transformation? The name of the transformation is Follow the Damn Train CJ. 
CJ. So yeah, uh, it's so here we go. And that's it. So right up to episode two. So the game is divided by season and each season at episodes. <coughs> so for this episode, uh, one of the actors got uh, talked into talk one of the brother-in-law to be a guest for the for this episode. So basically, we have to save him. But we're not gonna do that, we're just gonna kick some ass. We are not gonna follow the director's instruction at all. And you will see uh, one of the first glitches in the game. So this is teamwork in action. It's, normally the Tiki wouldn't have been able to hit this guy, but with the lead in teamwork mode, he can. Now, this, this is something that can happen. Uh, every en enemy has a dodge and a counter chance, and those guys have 10% chance to dodge an attack. And so an attack, if I miss an attack, it's taking a... I'm losing time. So what I did just now is just, I press escape during the audience report, because I otherwise, if I continue through it, I would have lost money. And what it does, it just keeps the audience meter, I don't lose any fans or money. And the drops get stored for later. So. For the chromatized button, uh, when I choose a character and then transform, everyone's gonna be put in a square and transform as well. And they get all their action back. Uh, and that's uh, this is the, the teamwork attack in, uh, in action. Uh, I'm just keeping another another just report right there. It also makes me skip a mail that would be would have an impact on an episode of the next season. But skipping it or answering it in the proper way is the same. So it's faster it's faster to skip it. Here we go. Another dodge, unfortunate. In the meantime, we did receive a $5 donation from, I hope I pronounce it correctly, Royce, with just the comment Royce. Thank you very much for your donation. Yes, and no, I don't have uh, enough audience to chromatize. No, I have. So I can do this. And what does it do if my character doesn't have any space to do it? Uh, enemies just gonna move around. and shoot this guy. Here, okay. it's done. So, uh, as you can see, each weapon has different range. And melee weapons are just one, one tail away. And pistol are, are four or five. And rifle is one more. We'll see right later. So for this episode, uh, the Techie uh, is actually has actually an appointment to the dentist. So we get another guy, which is Galax Silver, which has a really good intro. But I really forgot the intro. It's been a while I played this game pretty really. Let's see. Uh, oh, 
Ah, so you see, one of the most used uh, action, free action of the leader, uh, which is Eagle Lasso, which can pull any character, any enemies cl the, to the closest tile. Uh, to the closest tile to the leader. And it's a free action, so it doesn't take any action cases. Now I'm gonna change and take a skill to find weakness and go to the finale for season one. And she's a character you probably saw in episode one. It's the transit mancer. So uh, at the beginning, the, uh, this boss was really RNG dependent. And thanks to uh, a guy. Uh, a guy called Hard, Hard Rocker. We managed to make it, make it, make it him a big subtake. Also, Hard Rocker finds uh, everything you see, like the route, where I'm stand, where I make my character go, and thing and such, uh, is what uh, he rotated for that. He, ro he rotated of the for the game, for this run. So props to him. Another dodge, nice. Uh, the turtle can't dodge, they have 0% dodge, but in the ducks, yeah, they have 12%. So it's quite unfortunate. And I just. Uh, Building up minions that the transit monster sent to us. And after that, we have uh, a cutscene which go back to our base. And Cerebro, the brain you see on the tube, uh, tells us we have uh, a really big weapon called a mecha, which is basically what you would expect for it. For this name. So, for the second phase of the transit master, I'm gonna just stand on this line. And what it's gonna do is just the transit master will teleport to this place. And I'm and right now I'm trying to position everyone of my team so they don't cross this line. Let's go here. And... Here is what you get when you use all your five team members to do an attack. This should be a finishing move, so... If you use it too early, you lose a audience, but not that much. So it doesn't really matter. Just the most powerful attack you can get. And fight, find weakness just to lower the defense of the enemy. No. Oh. I can't hit him. Okay. Here we go. So now... As uh, what true Sentai series do, uh, we got to make a fight. So uh, the makeup fights in this game are really simple in casual. So you get at uh, the first you get attack and defense. Uh, you can, if you miss an attack, it's the opponent's turn. And I can explain that later. For now, just have to get through this. Uh, you can skip the cutscene there by pressing going to abort episode. Now we are off to season 2. Uh, I'm gonna, this mail is really important. You can get random mail like this one. And this one gets me more part for the mecha upgrades later. And now since we are in season 2, we can just we get new skills. 
So the squads get plus two movement, the leader gets bonus to spears. And excuse me. So that's you get bonus to spears. Uh, which works as also for swords. Don't ask me why it just works. And everyone actually gets new skills, but those are the most used one. And this first part of the mission of this episode is one of the few instances where I have to wait a certain amount of turns. So maybe if there is any donation, you can go ahead. Well, I do like to mention that we have some uh, bit wars for later this marathon. Uh, there is a bit war for wild animal racing. There are actually two, but the one in particular I want to talk about is the bit war for the animal. So you can choose your favorite animal from the list, and if that gets the highest bid in total, then they're going to use that animal, which is pretty interesting. So, I can take this time to talk about a bit more about the combat mechanic in this game. So, um, how this works is uh, every enemy is going to uh, target a certain character. Most, uh, most of them is the closest one, uh, but it changes, at least in casual, when uh, when a character a character's elf is going to be low enough, they're going to switch to another one, and also they every one of my actors get passively increased dodge chance each time they uh, the lower their health. So. If they are really low health, they get a higher chance to dodge attacks. This was also one of the instances where uh, the assist teamwork action is used, is useful, because uh, it is every ally around it. If I put my assist here, it's just gonna heal everyone for a little bit of health. So for the mecha fights earlier, um, how the combat works is just you have attacks, defense automatically ends your turn and you get more defense. And each time you attack, uh, your each chance get decre uh, decreased a bit, and but your combo meter goes up and your damage multiplier goes up as well. So it's just kind of a trade-off. Do you want to defend or just go all out and attack? And in casual, since Mecha's fight, uh, Mecha's enemy deals uh, um, a tenth of the damage they should do in normal or challenging. Uh, we can just go all out and attack. Here is in part two, and you're gonna see uh, the wonders of the transformation. So if I go there and transform, this guy is gonna move here, and this the yes, asset's gonna move here. You can just grab the turtle back and kill it with the leader. I mean, why is that good with the, mov the movement uh, speed? Gonna take care of this of the one there. The other sword got its most powerful weapon, the squirrel's kick, which just, as it says, it's a rounder, uh, a rounder's kick. But since since the uh, area of effect is a square, you pretty much get the idea of it. Teamwork. And 
Oh, really? I thought it was done, but he decided to dodge. You had one job, Nines. Okay. So basically, the chromatized get me to manipulate the enemy a bit. And most of the boss are gonna get one shot from two people. And the illegal lasso is really nice, so because I can get them from really far away. So that Tilly Tubby gone. And episode 1 is done. And uh, normally if I had to respond on the of the mail after season 1 episode 3, I would have... Uh, I would have had three choices. Or at least two, because one uh, gets... Uh, gets deleted after. You, if you choose it, you just get an achievement and that's it. And you have to choose between two of them. And one of the answers makes you do this episode. And the other one makes you do another one, another episode, which is uh, longer than this one. So I'm killing this fellow with the techie so I can get uh, the transformation and so they're gonna move all around the leader to be really to be good for to be set up for a teamwork attack nope I swear I used the weapon there it's fine doesn't cast that much time See the chat is talking a lot about Sentai's. So yeah, uh, yeah each boss make a fight as three health bar. Yeah, come on. It's a lot of misses though. Now I'm gonna end with a special attack. Uh, the special attack always hit, no matter what. And it deals a lot of damage, but ends your turn automatically. And right now, just uh, make uh, make a contract with an agency. And contracts with agencies give you bonuses, which varies a lot like, with elf or more fun per episode, more dollar per episode, or just increased drop rate, and this is what I need for this one. I need uh, a few items throughout the game, and one of them is the polyester, and they can drop from those guys if I'm lucky. If I'm not, I'm, I will have to do this again in a later episode. I need uh, four civil takes. Uh, one cupboard box, one wood board, and one polyester, which which I can get from either uh, nine cottons or three like three lasers as well. It's a bit of crafting mechanic in the game as well. So let's hope I get the polyester in this game. No drops on now. It's not a really good sign. Oh, I get it. This is the polyester. So I'm really... I'm really lucky right now. I'm gonna move it here. So you can heal everyone. So yeah, this is w one of the other... Uh, instances where I have to... Uh, survive a set amount of turns. So in this episode... Uh, you just go fight uh, a lot of zombie walkers, and if you kill them, they just keep spawning, so they don't decrease in number. Meanwhile, 
we received a $10 donation from Panzer saying, hope you get cardboard because you lost the game. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I lost the game. Thank you. Meanwhile, you can enjoy the the great work on the music there. Like the, the music team did a really good job for this game. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill some of these so they don't uh, don't act for the next turn. And I can get myself a few more drops as well. So, it's not much that's going on right now because I'm limited in skills and I don't need to chromatize there so it's just uh, attack and dodge and counter attacks as well. So, and here we go, uh, another mecha fight. There, there's gonna be a lot of mecha fights in this game. And don't worry, it's gonna be a bit more interesting later on. Uh, by the way, even if it says 92%, the first attack can't miss at all. Uh, you can't miss the first attack in the game, eh, of the fight. get money and fans. Uh, you get those uh, depending on your audience. Uh, you get uh, an in a fan and income ra uh, change rate and this tells you what you need, how much, how much fans and money you're gonna get. So I just gave a new bow for the world. For the assist, which is going to increase its weapon damage. That's mostly. Uh, most of the purchase we're going to do is to increase either weapon, attack damage, or critical chance, or con and counter ch chance. For this part, you just see a bunch of portals. You don't know what they do, but since you're not used to see that, you just gotta destroy them. And what it, they do is that they make a really tough enemy spawns, like at least tough for your base level, Sentai level right now. Just can just keep. The agents report because otherwise you're gonna lose money and fans. And we are in the season, uh, season two finally. Right now, just so first we have to defend. Really, I'm gonna about this bit and then start again. It says I really need to kill this guy first. We just received don some donations from the audience, actually. <laughs> Linkboss donated $2 saying, Donating from stream to audience. Shigen and me are, are tired. We're going to bed. Have a good run, okay. Fo. And Shigen actually donated as well. Donated $5 saying, Greetings from streaming room too. Good luck, Chfo. <laughs> Chfo. Sorry. Uh, I, keep, I keep butchering your name. It's fine. <laughs> don't good don't worry about that. Good luck for the run. Waiting for you in the bed. <laughs> Less than three. Putting money to future tone exhibition. Thank you guys for the donations. Less than three. Oh, come on. Nice touch, guy. Yeah, I'm getting really terrible luck right now. From those guys. Yeah. Uh, if you've seen that, plus uh, some X damage from Sniper Cut is. Uh, 
a skill from the tech, a passive skill, which increases damage from pistols the further away they is from enemies. So later on we we're getting him a, a rifle which has the highest range in the game. Now we're gonna fight uh, a mermaid or a reverse mermaid. I don't know. And we're gonna manipulate her to uh, how we need to. So uh, the first action she's gonna do is to charm the closest actor from her. So it's gonna be the scout. But it's fine because the scout is not gonna move at all because it's gonna be blocked by everyone. Oh. Unless it counters this way. The scout is gonna be charmed for one turn. Meanwhile, we're just gonna move uh, both the assault and the tech and the leader closer to the boss, which makes them uh, makes the enemy turn the aggro onto those two. Oh, yeah, nice, nice counter dodge. At some point you need to take it so you can move a tile away or two if they quit. That's Sometimes you get uh, the rook can get screwed if you like counter a lot because they aren't in the position you you expected. I say she didn't dodge. No, no, and same for showing up true power so another mecha fight like it really likes like uh, power, power rangers when they beat up the the enemy and then it turns giant and then you have to get in the mecha And another cutscene skip right here. I get a lot of duct tape, that's really good. And now we're on to season 3. Yeah, season performance poor, but who cares anyway? It, it's a Sentai. Yeah, no comment on that. I have to go through all this maze, otherwise, I can't start a new, a new episode. And I'm gonna grab the rifle for the techie and the axe for the assault. And change uh, techie so it deals more damage with pistols and the assault deals way more damage with weapons. And another uh, skill for this card, which is the free action that deals damage. And you get to... It's, it's like you attack with your sword, but for free. So it's more extra damage this way. We received a $10 donation from, I believe, a fellow Chroma Squad runner. It's actually Killer who make the donation. Yes, me too. Saying good luck on the run, on the R RNG, I should say. Yeah, yep. not really lucky right now. Two, uh, two people dodged. I'm not that lucky at all. Oh, nice counter though. This one is pretty good. Oh, I'm getting a really nice shot. So uh, I'm gonna use Lightning Dagger because it can't touch this skill. And same for the Multi Shot. So that's really good for me. 
So that's when I play you that lightning's lightning dagger. I must say it's just for more cheap damage into the boss. Lightning dagger the bus. Just kill him with those three guys. And we're up to yet another uh, run base mission. Unfortunate. Uh, there would be one of. There's gonna be one after that in this. Uh, I think it's yeah in this in this season, and then you're gonna you're not gonna see one after a, a while. So that's so to speed up the process of each turn. What you can do is either kill everyone instantly, which is gonna end your turn and go straight to the enemy's turn, or get your members stunned so that so you don't have to make them go teamwork to, to teamwork mode. I can read a bit the chat, and yes, the. Uh, the panda the techie has team attack damage so it's really important. It's really good for that. It's also one of the only actors that has base bonus damage. And some of the actors just give more HP or uh, more counter chance and such. But we really need more uh, a lot of attack. So we can just one or two turn bosses. Uh, the only problem is, uh, as I can see in the chat, like the Fear Whisper so it's the problem is that the Techie has low movement, which is going to be solved soon enough. Uh, it's not a problem if any of my uh, actors die this. During this phase, because uh, as long as one is still standing, I'm not in a bad shape. <laughs> Got to stand. I'm still gonna use uh, a circle of friendship to help my allies. And we're almost done with this session. I'm gonna just use a skirt to stun the three guys. And Matisha to take down one of those. Again, $25 for each 100 audience I have at the end of the episode. And now I get to marketing. I have max communication, so I get more convention rate. And I start. I can start with more... Uh, more audience at this at the beginning of, of the episode and more dollar per episode as well and since I get even more income rate uh, this uh, this mission is gonna uh, gonna give me a lot more money
Put on that. Thank you. It's just really convenient because uh, the director's instructions for this are really simple. Especially for casual mode. Like, I don't even have to transform. I'm gonna miss one, it's not that bad. Which is again a, a really quick episode. And we're gonna need to get chromatized really fast so we can one turn the boss. So, yeah, we, we're actually in uh, an enemy convention and it's get traded by mean guys and a cupcake, a giant cupcake. I'm gonna use this card to take down this guy, which is not enough. Hmm, that's interesting. So I hope like we can just kill this guy, which gives us enough agents to... to get the chromatize option. And what's one of the properties of chromatize it, is that it keeps tip work. On from people instead of join up, which allows us to to use the weapon of the leader and have the uh, take if follow the, the lead. Now we are off for the only crafting part of the game. I need two wood board. I don't have any, so I have to buy one pack, one cardboard pack. And this is what I need. Like three, three wood board and uh, four cardboard and one wood board. And I'm gonna make another silver tape. I'm crafting the speedy, which gives two plus two movement. I'm gonna equip, equip it on the techie. And now for the mecha, uh, I give more defense, but mostly for the upgrade the chroma beam. Give another action skill and, two, and another one for the, for the mecha. And you'll see why it's gonna be really it's gonna be really important for this part that the Techie has enough move speed. Oh okay, um I have to restart otherwise I can't get them in one turn. It's gonna take more time than restarting the level. on the techie, so this yes I can come closer. And without the speedy I would have been able to move here and multi-shot all those guys. So that mostly wise the speedy is gonna use be used for to make sure that techies go where he needs to multi-shot. Now we are fighting a giant TV. For some reason. And I really don't remember why. It starts because uh, at the end of episode uh, at the end of the finale of season two, uh, 
the cutscene I skipped showed that um, a character called Lord Gaga uh, installed an, an audience booster and things gonna are starting to be a bit weird like enemies are coming and these are not the one we uh, we hired for the episode so we have to deal with them so as you can see the attack pattern for for the makeup fights are no different because we get one skill that makes us do little damage but uh, go up our combos three times and another bazooka shot with, which uh, is a final move as well so it deals a lot of damage and, uh, change of pain weakness and move on Uh, this is gonna be the last uh, waiting waiting phase for a bit. So, so you you have less less character and it's six turn instead of eight. So it's kind of kind of fast right now. So mostly why people are on there is just have uh, stuff to do elsewhere. Is there a little bit of time to talk about a donation incentive? Yes. I've been talk I've talked about wild animal racing, about the bit war for the animals, but there's also an incentive that can be met. It's about a few uh, films with animals, eight short films to be exact. And yes. let's be let's be real. Who doesn't want to see animal movies? And currently, we are at ninety dollars, and to reach the incentive, we need to get to six hundred in total. So get your donations for those animal films. Yeah, you really should do this. The the movies are priceless. Like you're never gonna see something like this anywhere soon. If you know the game, you know what I mean. You know you want to see them. I think I can try to do... No. Oh yeah, I can do... A little bit of glitch there. I can use the chromatize and still moving if I'm fast enough. So what does it do is just... I can move my uh, my character a bit of, a, of time and that just saves a small amount of time. I And as you can see I couldn't use any, any action from the assault. It's this one. I really dodged that. Nice. What a pro. It dodged the other one. Okay, so that's kind of bad. Because uh, I don't want to kill them. I just want to kill this guy. Uh, that's, that's a bit unfortunate. Please don't dodge. Thank you. Uh, you will see a glitch later with this button, which is going to be really interesting. So, uh, one of the drawbacks of the mecha chest is all my cooldowns are increased by two. So, but it's uh, in counterpart, it's a really, really powerful attack. And now we've, now we've done episode 5, we are up for the finale. When you can... Uh, when you, uh, Lord Gaga explained that... Uh, his agent booster isn't quite exactly an agent booster at all. Uh, 
Oh, I messed up a bit. I, I went a bit too far from the leader. So my bad on that. Should be there. Right. Oh. So, Galazzo there. So, let's cut his here. I'm gonna use the techie and place it in the farthest back possible. And eating with the techie last ensures me that I got the damage from a sniper cat. A lightning dagger. It should be dead there, but. It doesn't die until I finish my turn with the current the current actor. It just stays in a dead phase until I hit two more. Oh, nice! That was a really Nice session. Yeah, as I felt the story gets more and uh, crazier the further we go into the story. You can just punch Rod Gaga and it's... We are destroying his urgent booster, but actually it's a bit too late and it, it got another one back. Hopefully they won't touch. Or I will get counter it. Nice. That's really good. That's what I wanted. So that's the end of the finale for season three. And we can see like Log Gaga is calling out his uh, his minions. So it's up to us to help him. And the the big brain in the tube is actually uh, a bit more uh, more important than we thought at the, at the first place. Yeah. This made it a kind of a joke since the game uh, was released one year after it should really have, for some reason. So, season 4 means more skills, so we get more expertise for the leader. Le the assault gets trampled, which is a free action, and free deplacement as well. And get more shop more shopping to do. Get for more attack for the Scotten. Assault and four weapons as well. So, and uh, season four also introduced skills that are really powerful, but what do they do is that they uh, start off cooldown, start on cooldown, I mean. So you can't use it right now. 
Uh, those kids aren't really useful for this run. And I just hope the mouse doesn't uh, doesn't uh, increase its touch chance next turn. Yeah, that's really good for us. This guy has really high uh, chance, the Dutch chance. So it's better off to kill him with two guys and stuff one, but... You should be able to kill it, kill it uh, as a first try. another use of great teamwork in action. Otherwise, most likely, most of the fights there are gonna be uh, a boss fight followed by a mecha fight. So you get to see uh, all the designs the uh, developers have done with this game, mostly for the bosses. And also in this season, you are gonna see an important choice for season five. That's it. No, we're gonna get to marketing. Higher max communication again for one episode and get. All those bonuses. I must be the audience thingy. Because we need some we need it for this fight. It's, help, it's a help us a lot building our origins for activate the chromatized option. Or follow the damn train CJ. So for this Part, we have a guest which is a samurai we beat up last uh, at season 2. It's gonna help us uh, taking care of uh, what Lord, Lord Gaga is doing. No, it's not this one. Okay, so uh, I think I'm screwed up. Shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. It should still be good. Yes, it is. So let's just do this and get it with the right fall. Normally you should move the leader there and but it's basically the same. A lot of misses at a really high chance. That's um, not a decent mecha fight. That's not. That's really unlucky. Should be good. Yes, it is. 
and let's go for... I'm skipping the urgence report to not lose fans. And in this episode, it's just to make a fight in a row. So if you have any donation or information to say, you can go for it. Is there a small time for a quick shout out? Uh, yes. So I want to shout out one of our sponsors. Uh, you probably have heard Elgato and who's providing us pizza. But I especially want to shout out Fuse Sonic, who uh, is supporting, the, of course, the whole event, but they also provided uh, equipment like monitors for us runners to train on and to practice for. So I would like to uh, give them our thanks that they provided that for us and that we can freely use those that equipment. So thank you very much, Fuse Sonic. Why is CJ following the damn train? Because he had to. Because he has to. So the, uh, this episode gives us 9,000 9, agents, so which gives us a lot of money and fans. Uh, yeah, this going to give us a best friend, but we don't need it anymore. Since we have a better weapon, and I'm going to buy the spear for the, for the leader and change take it skill from multi shot. So now we are uh, our leader is missing and so we have four people to do this episode. Which is our episodes are quite short in this speedrun. But in uh, if you are playing this in challenging uh, it's it can get really really messy. Because uh, what ch what changes between all the difficulty is enemies are uh, are more resistant, have more health, and deal way more damage than in casual. So now we chromatize and try to put the techie in a space where you can get all five people. For a really quick run. All right, now we just make use of every fraction that did damage at our our advantage, so most, most boss, fight, boss fights are mostly a puzzle game and as I said earlier, thanks to Hardworker we got the solution, like one of I think, the optimum, so optimal solution for each of them. I should have skipped that, okay, fine. So we're gonna uh, I have the conductor of the train which give us a lot of bonuses and mostly the 1000 starting experience, uh, starting audience, uh, each for the next three episodes uh, are going to be used to get the chromatized option uh, at, the, at the start. Uh, the, the challenge difficulties really really tough like if you don't know uh, every skills or don't have mostly don't have the the required gear you're probably gonna lose i haven't finished uh, challenging at all because uh, i was stuck at the finale of season five the buses were just too strong i couldn't do Anything. I think it's three. Should be three. Oh no, it's just two teamwork.
So for the next three fights is uh, uh, one of the three main bosses that Lord Gaga uh, sent to us, and most and all of them are just uh, kill them in the first turn and then uh, make a fight. Uh, that was a pre pretty low roll on the damage. It should have been uh, a kill on this roll. I'm just gonna use Chroma Beam there, because I guess I can't uh, miss this attack. I'm gonna skip the Agents report and go back to Episode 6. Go ahead. Otherwise, uh, getting use of everything the lead can go. Can use it mostly with Eagle Lasso. I think I don't need to jump out there. This should be good. Also, if you have uh, noticed throughout the game that the teleportation uh, animation are getting better and better, it's mostly because the studio is, is improving and getting better geared over the time. Uh, another low roll. It should have been uh, on the third bar right now. That's it for episode 6, and we are moving on episode uh, episode 7 of the finale, which uh, is one of the uh, one of the episodes that made me reset a lot for the uh, during the resting, because so, it involved a glitch, because the chromatized button glitch. Which I, I will show you right now. So, what I do is just use chromati the chromatize button and press tab to change to another character. What it does is just cut now as a glitch chromatize button. And what does it do is I can use chromatize again. And that will me. Uh, that will make every one of my character get fully healed and I have all their uh, action skills uh, reset so they can use it right back again. This is uh, another waiting phase. I have to wait 8 turns but uh, if the manipulation is it's gone right, I can skip one of my own turn by killing every one of them. I'm probably not gonna work now, but... Or at least I can speed up a lot the uh, turn of, uh, of the enemy team. So, and... I'm going to use the glitch again during this phase to continue using the multi-shot and a square kick for the for the assault. But I need to keep the scut in this state at all times for part 3, otherwise it would be really, really hard to, to clear. 
Yes, uh, and also this finally is a point where uh, season five uh, change for people. So this means um, you you can have three rods, uh, which are uh, you get a six ranger during season season five, or you get uh, a defender of the of the galaxy, or and that's the route we're gonna do. You can um, you can only play with the assault and have the like the common rider route. And this is what we're gonna do. So, what I'm do I'm gonna uh, use a chromatized, chromatized glitch again. So, uh, hopefully I won't fail, otherwise I may have to... It's fine. Yeah. I need to press tab one saving move, so I don't uh, mess, mess up the glitch. Put him there, use multi shots so I can take care of five of those. And try to cleave people. So that's the cleave time from the assault. You have a 30% chance to hit. Uh, in, I think it's six tiles around you. You can't hit from behind, but you can hit the sides and in front. Oh, I think it's five. Just square or kick there to clear up more enemies. So yeah, thanks to our Drucker to to finding in, in finding this glitch. It's really useful, mostly for this part. For the other part, really. I don't need it. Oh, I messed up. Yep, so that's... Uh, I'm gonna continue, I don't want to... Uh, what I did is that switch character too fast. So, my ban on this one. But I don't want to lose more time than I would if I would... Uh, if I reset the emission. It would have been like seven, six or seven minutes lost. Yes, yeah, six minutes. So unfortunately, uh, we're gonna have to make some backup. Yes. Sorry about that. So, uh, to get the rider route, we need to take Tammy down before uh, Lord Kaga, so... We are gonna do this right now. Okay. So yeah, unfortunately... Uh, the spot isn't chromatized, isn't glitched anymore. So we can't reset our skills, so I have to be extra careful with the positioning. Because uh, Lord Gaga sent us way back there. So I think the, the assault is gonna be, yeah, it's done for this turn. It won't be able to, to be used there. Just gonna leave it here. Hopefully. Uh, Lord Gaga is going to move over here. No, oh, nice counter. I 
think I can. Yeah, I can make it. I can just use the lasso. Make a move here. Join up. So everyone gets around. He's gonna push us back uh, for this attack, so I'm gonna move them so they aren't uh, pushed far away, except for the leader, but I can't do any much more for him. Push everyone around. And that's it for Lord Gaga. So normally this is a cutscene that explains uh, who Cerebro really is and tells us that they need some people to save the galaxy from Lord Gaga and his, uh, and his doings. And now we are in season 5 which means even more skills. I'm gonna change the assault skills from Trample and Martial Arts Master. Get Find Weakness and buy a Barrier Boost for the assault. Light Speed Glove for more critical hit. And buy the Axe as well for even more critical hit. So, this part uh, the Rider route for Season 5. So the only team member I have to control is the Assault. Which is really good because the Assault has uh, high base power and the actor uh, used for the Assault also has extremely... Uh, give us more attack damage. Is Kanjabo. I don't remember who he is in the game. It is one of the. is a, a common rider, let's say. And it's gonna. and he's helping. Uh, he's training the assault. I think to take his place at some point. That was a really bad spawn. If, if enemies spawn here, they just go back, move all the way back and move where they should go. It's more time loss, but it's better to have uh, a turtle or even an, another duck instead of the rhino. Because mostly the turtle, because the turtle can stun people. Most of the, the skills you get in Season 5 aren't really useful for the casual run of this game. Because either uh, you're gonna kill, it, kill the bosses too fast, 
or uh, you just really don't need them or they are really useful like they don't give any damage bonus just defense so it's one of the uh, toughest boss in the game because it does doesn't take that much damage from normal attack as you see it takes one but if I crit like this it gets it a lot. Now I'm testing myself over here. I'm doing a driver kick. I'm placing the time gadget. It's, uh, what does what time gadget do is uh, at the at the start of the next turn, everyone gets replaced as they were when I use time gadget. So even though he moved there, it just go going back here, and I'm moving around my team so I can get him with a teamwork attack. So I think how you should uh, fight this boss is make him make him go, make him get hit by all those uh, spears because I lower lower his defense or you can just use teamwork attacks and that work or even uh, a square rock stick and if you have to do full damage you have to crit him otherwise so that's mostly why we beat we bought a lot of crit chance earlier with the assault now uh, we get take uh, we get a motorcycle which give us the, the skill from the uh, so the, the rider so we get drive we can now get into driver mode we're gonna change trumpet to cliff time so now we get the night driver mode like the driver mode, I mean, uh, which increase our, our attack and decrease our defenses and make every enemy we kill explode and they can chain reaction. We can get a nice chain, re chain reaction off of, that, off of that. So if everyone is trying to attack me this turn and, that, and the mouse and then try to do like this and buff their defenses, which I did. <coughs> uh, they would have been all close enough for me to use one square horse kick and kill them all. Uh, also, fun fact, you can soft lock the game. If uh, you counter someone, and then it dies and it explodes and the next guy you had to hit um, was just uh, and the next guys you had to hit uh, exploded as well so the game registers that someone should have uh, should have played their turn but they couldn't because they just died and I'm, and you get stuck into enemy turn indefinitely and you have to abort the episode So here you, you have uh, one of the two main generals of Lord, Lord Gaga. Just get... I messed up. Uh, I, I shouldn't have used teamwork there, because I still need to hit this guy. So hopefully it, it isn't a real issue. It should be good, because... Now I can just go there, use the time gadget, and square house kick. Because he, he explodes, uh, the frog explodes. And if I get a counter right now, uh, I'm, I'm pretty good. No counter. No counter at all. Okay, fine. 
Let's see if I can cleave. Yes. Uh, this is an interesting uh, mechanic of the game. Is that oh, since you push someone one tail away when you are attacking it, attacking them. Uh, what does it do is that... Oh, no, more L. So... What it does is that since you move them one tile and can't cliff, cliff time can uh, activate and you hit, it, hit them another time with the cliff. So that's what happened right now. This, this is one of my favorite boss in the game. It's just a bear, but uh, it can fight you by dancing, making you die by, by him dancing. No cliff this time, unfortunately. And I get one. But, and also, counter can cleave because it's it's still an attack. It didn't do the dance of death, so. Bit of a time gain. Not much to to get back on track with my PB. Now, by the way, my PB is uh, 134, and the world record is 132. And now I need to. Let's still need to continue on. Like the the next three fight are gonna be quite similar. Except for this one, I have to wait 12 turns before getting to hit the boss. So to to shorten the time I spend it being hit by those people, I just uh, put myself into a wall uh, so I don't move at all backwards, and I can just move from side to side. They also, they also get clumped up. Uh, which is really nice because really nice I can, can just uh, use driver mode and kill everyone that is adjacent to each other. I can just do this and attack one and everyone dies. So I get just four people moving and attacking right now. And it also decreases a bit the number of enemies that will spawn. And some of them will spawn like right there and if they spawn there, they can't move at all, which is really good for me. So, I enjoy uh, seeing people explode, which makes them explode other people as well. Like this, uh, this action can subflux the game. It happens to me when in uh, in one of my run. I was on a PV pace and I, the run just died there because he couldn't keep the enemy turn. Like as you can see, there is like three people stacking up there. Oh, I don't have explosion anymore. But cliff time activated so I get three of them. And this season can be really fast if you are lucky with counter attack. Like counter attacks. Because uh, the boss aren't that hard but uh, since they attack, can attack you twice in a row uh, if you can get a counter 
with just two attacks, uh, you can get a really fast time. So, uh, why is the rider route? It's because I think, if I remember correctly, it's, it's the fastest. And as uh, as Rocket said in the in the chat, the st uh, the strats are really good, are really really well done. So since you can just uh, set yourself up, so everyone gets from get clumped and just kill them in one hit. Uh, right now I'm just waiting for the last two turn to to survive. to survive all those turns uh, we get to to fight Mohawk the alligator basically most of this fight are starting by using driver mode for increased damage and then a scrollers kick which is more damage and a normal attack that can't crit Unfortunately, it's still fine for now. <clears throat> and now is the time if to see if I get decent luck or not. This fight can take uh, the first phase can take either four turns or two, depending on if I'm lucky with the cleave or not. Because I'm not moving, so they're gonna stack up like this. I'm gonna hit the one in the middle. If, if cliff time activate, it kills the other two, which is really good for me. This time the boss has more health than before but uh, if cliff time activates it's not really it won't be that long or even if I crit even and counter with a crit that's really nice oh, that's what can happen that's a really really good fight for this mission like I've got the perfect luck everywhere. It's just really amazing. And I got uh, I got cliff time every time. Got the a counter crit, and thanks to the driver mod, all the dirt thingy got blown away and. Uh, damage the boss as well, and the cliff did a lot of damage as well, so that was a really good thing. Yeah, this fight was just like something like intermission, and we get to go to the finale right now. I'm gonna get back trample for the assault. I'm gonna need it for this mission and the last episode right after that. We're pretty close to the end. Just two more episodes, including this one. And now you see we get a lot of uh, 
lot of action right now. If I'm lucky, uh, I will get a counter hit on this uh, enemy. Which that didn't happen. It's still fine. Is where our teammates are prisoner from. Like they are taken prisoner. And when we TP to their base, we get the help of like a uh, onion cat or a sushi cat. I really don't know what this is. But it'll, it'll help us to get back our allies. Can I click this? Thank you. It turns out that this cat is actually another ranger. So, yeah, here is a guy that destroyed us uh, at the end of season, f season uh, 4. So he destroyed us, now we destroy him. Simply put. So that's the end of the final end. We are close to the end. And that will be the last episode. Like season 6 is only one episode. So the last episode is must is in three phases, and we are trying to do all the three phases, three phases in one turn each. So from this, we are gonna need to buy some stuff. So we're gonna get the helmet for the lead, the ticket, and the assist. The elite boots. For, for the assist, the scot and the lead, which give more skill regen, which allows us to spam skills more often. And we're gonna grab the insert interceptor suit for everyone. And we also go ahead and grab some. Uh, Weapons for the team, so I can't buy one for the take it, but I will buy one for the leader. And we are gonna go for a defense squad and activate the plus 10 attack power, so I get 35 from uh, from the agency. And that's the last uh, mission with the first phase, which has the best music in the entire game for me get to defeat Lord Gaga. So what's gonna happen is we are gonna move the techie so we can use find weakness at the first place to lower its defense. I'm gonna go put the scout near Lord Gaga using lightning dagger to start doing damage. Uh, the assault gonna Use driver mode and like the other boss, go driver kick, trample, and then stand back for a bit. Uh, so I'm 
not gonna teamwork with him. The leader's gonna move so he can use his spear to to attack. Same for the assist. Gonna attack with the tech him. It dodged once, that's that's it. And I can get the final hit with the square house kick. That's a, a really good phase one. So phase two, Lord Gaga just running away and we have to think kill the hardest boss in the game. So you get there, you have to somehow get out. And how do you and you do this by uh, actually killing the door. Like you have there is no indication for that but you have to to kill the door. For that we need we are using the lowering defense from the techie and the assault to square us kick. Oh, I forgot the driver mod so it didn't really work that well. Hopefully I can get around that probably. No, okay. That's a shame. Well it went well but I had to mess up a bit. Sorry people who's watching. I failed you. Okay, I had one job is to hit the damn door. I just forgot the driver mode. It would have it would have been enough. I could have, uh, I could have walked that around. Now just kick the door. It opens, and that's it. Yeah, I want one job. Now we get to the final boss in the game. So it turns out Lord Gaga isn't really the main villain in this place. It's this guy, we just kill Lord Gaga for no reason. I did make maybe for one, but mostly because it's pure evil. And we get back Kenji Abo, which was in incapacitated at the start of season 5. So we are 6, and we are here to one shot the boss. So. First of all, I need to get him back here, so I use the lasso to do this. And go into teamwork. After that, I use... Wait a bit. Wait a bit. Did I messed up? I think I did. Oh, damn it. I, I have to restart the episode. Uh, I forgot to join up at the start of the... After using the lasso and all things are messed up, so... Uh, let's do that again. You get to hear, to hear the, the real cool, cool music again. Oh, by the way, uh, Trample and Driver Kick can crit uh, for some reason. Oh, oh. so uh, I still had Find Weakness of cooldown. It's because of the uh, Season 5 skill from the Take. Uh, I have a chance to instantly refund the cooldown of any skill I use.
It shouldn't be overestimate, but would be close to my estimate. Let's go. go there. The key. Let's find the weakness on the door. And then hit it. Trigger mode. Next to the door. And square was kick. And that's it. That oh it should have been done. So here you go again, villain X. I really it's it should be like one of the most evil people in the galaxy and his name is Villain X. It, it, it's when you see are, are we still in a Saint series or not? Not yet. So. Now let's not mess that up. And move here. Use the lasso. And then join up. Here we go. That's way better. Then we're gonna use the tech here. Using fine weakness to lower the defense of this guy. And we're gonna move him uh, there so he's in range with the rifle. Gonna use the assault right now. Moving back. on the back of villain X and use driver kick uh, and then trample to get back I said trample not move okay anyway uh, shouldn't be that uh, that bad here yeah, so teamwork and Shouldn't be that bad. Ah. I'm gonna move it down there. So, now I should have used time gadget as well. Oh, I get a really nice uh, place right now. It's that convenient, conveniently placed. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put him nearby so I can hit him. Can I hit him with a tech? Yes, I can. So I'm gonna do this. And hit him with both uh, all three of them. I'm gonna try to move to force my movement there. Oh, nice crit! Uh, if I did enough damage, it would uh, it would transform into the next phase, and I think I did. I didn't quite yet. So that's unfortunate. And we'll try to deal with it. Uh, yeah, no, there's no way I can go there, up there, except for him. Oh, I can. Oh, that's really, that's really handy. Because I can just go join up. Everything is gonna move up. Get back with him with a laser. And these three of them are gonna attack. It should be enough.
Unfortunately, all of them are gonna be really badly placed for this part. So no, normally it should have been one turn here. Yeah, it's gonna change. And it would have transformed already. Yeah, and we are estimates right now. Damn it. Let's go. So I can't use this. So what I'm gonna do is using the scout to make us move down there. Trample that and stay there. They are gonna move back. Okay, move back down. Should be able to hit him with a blast, so yes. There we go again. We're gonna join up. Use find weakness on the bus. There. One tail away. Oh, I wasn't in the. Okay, fine. He's just gonna die this turn anyway. And counter strikes. Hmm. Here we go. That's the final boss, but not the final uh, part of the game. So, we just get the final boss, but as a race, it's gonna turn into a giant. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take damage on purpose, because uh, I'm gonna. Uh, this is cryptid, by the way. You can't win uh, this fight uh, directly directly by putting uh, his HP at zero. You have to die first. Because uh, this happens to every mecha fight. When you die, you get uh, your audience. Uh, like, you get backup from your audience, and the more audience you have, the more bonuses you have. And at this point, you just get a limited hit chance and. You can just build a combo like crazy. And time is real soon, it's when the credits start. After the next screen. And time. Okay, that's uh, yeah, that's overestimate. But I, mm, I, I was a really bad start with uh, the dodge. And I took some time to explain and get the donation right. So yeah, that's improvable. So and I'm, it's really hard for a tactical RPG to get everything right for a run. So I will still take that. So, mostly because I haven't derested that much, because I was taken by surprise. But it was still a great run. <laughs> it was just the last fight, but 
that was kind of messy, the rest was uh, quite well done. Je I just got mostly bad luck with dodges, but that's otherwise that's all. Anyway, thanks, uh, thanks for ESA for having me and thanks to everyone who's watched the run. You are really good and uh, see you later on. I will be streaming, I will be running uh, Abobo's Big Adventure in a few days and as well as Project Diva. So also stay tuned for the other run. And for the stream too, I think it's done for today. Yep. So I think you can catch the, the second day of stream two at 8 a.m. if I'm not mistaken. Hmm? At 10 a.m. Yeah. So there is also the stream one if you if you are in need of friends. I think I killed the boss. Yeah. So.